Okay, let me give you another example. So if um, if you have to sketch this function here, um, think about, um, well, it, it, the graph will look something like this. Think about what happens as x tends to infinity here. And then think what happens when x tends towards negative infinity. So the, the way we determine what happens in the in the two extremes here, um, we here, here's a trick. Hang on. The trick is um, multiply this out so it becomes this. And the trick here is to divide top and bottom by the highest power. So uh, divide top and bottom by x squared. Divide top and bottom by x squared here. So to think of, think of this as one ind individual thing here, one individual thing here, one individual thing here. So um, so this thing divided by x. Remember, we're, we're dividing this whole thing here by x squared, and then we, we're dividing this whole thing here by x squared here. But um, but think of it as one individual here, one individual here. So now x. Uh, if you look at this individual here, you've got x squared divided by x squared. That's one here. If you look at this this individual here, it would be 6x over x squared. So that becomes 6 over x. Okay, and, and then you've got 9, 9 over x squared. And then down here, hang on, down here you have um, x squared uh, and then divided by, divided by x squared here. That would then give you 1, and then 5 uh, over x squared. So, so looking at this here, divide top and bottom here by x squared. Oops, by x squared. Divide top and bottom by x squared. Divide top and bottom by x squared here. That will then give you this this whole thing here. Now, from this, you can determine what happens as x tends to infinity. So now, if, if you look at this here, as as x tends to infinity, um, this will be. Uh, 6 over a really really big number here let's say 9 9 9, nine and so on here then then the overall thing here would be very very small in fact you can think of it as being zero because it's heading towards zero anyway so so this thing here would be zero okay and then 9 divided by um, 9 uh, sorry 9 9 here so you have 9 here divided by a very 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 big number squared that means a very very big number squared. That means this thing here also tends to zero. So you um, looking at this, you can pretty much forget about this, forget about this, and the same argu argument can be used here. You can forget about this. So as x tends to infinity, you will have one over one, which is one. So it's going to head towards one. And then now um, now um, make x tends towards negative infinity. So so look. So looking at this here, looking at this, it will be 6 over minus 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, and so on here. This here will be negative 0 0.0000, blah, 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 1. Or, well, this thing here is going to tend towards 0 as well. So uh, so this will tend towards 0. This here will tend towards uh, 0. Um, this here will also tend towards 0, leaving you with with one here. So as x tends to infinity, uh, f of x tends to one, and x tends to negative infinity, this thing here tends to one. So what that means is that our graph will look like this. Okay. Oh, so 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 you. Well, well, the thing is, we don't know if it's heading if it's heading towards uh, positive one um, from the top or from the bottom. We just don't know that. All that we know is that as x tends to um, as x tends to infinity. Then we know it's going to head towards uh, the the limit will be will be um, heading towards one, and then as as x tends to um, as x tends to negative infinity, uh, negative infinity. Um, we, well, we we don't know if it's heading from the top towards one or if it's um, from the bottom. All that we know is that it's heading towards towards one here. Okay, I will continue in the next video.